as music creatives slash entrepreneurs who want to elevate their career and see their business succeed, you have to try your best to avoid potential roadblocks. And there's one very big roadblock that can mess the whole thing up. Do you know what that is? It's you. That's right, you. You are potentially bad for business. Let me explain. Hi, I'm sick with it, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, bro, what do you mean I, I'm bad for business? Well, today I'm speaking from the perspective of a music producer, but the principle applies across the board. So, here goes. Most producers are hermits. We either are studio rats or bedroom producers who spend the majority of our time secluded away from people and normal social interactions, like, I don't know, having family time, hanging out with friends, working out, you get my point. And we do all of this to perfect our craft in hopes of eventually fulfilling our dream of becoming the next big producer and having Grammys and plaques and records with some of our big artists and... Sound familiar? Now, this type of behavior, though important to becoming a better producer, also has to be balanced out with real life. Now, why is that even important? Well, like any other business, being a music producer requires people in order to be successful. You need people to listen to your music, people to collaborate with on music, uh, people to tell other people about your music, and so on. One of the biggest roadblocks I see producers face is themselves. They just don't know how to network effectively due to them being socially isolated and awkward by not knowing what to say to new people, how to act in public, how to present their business, or what to do in general. Remember, creating music is a group effort and your network will assist in getting your music heard and help open doors of opportunity. So it's important you learn how to connect and build with others. It's also important to know that in business, people like to do business with other people they know and they will recommend people they trust. And to take it even a step further, when you actually do get to work at a higher level with major placement opportunities, remember that this industry is more about who you know versus what you know. So building your network really will become your net worth. Okay, so I know not everyone is the best at networking and that's okay. I don't want you to sit here and say, man, sick, uh, I guess I won't be successful because that's just not me. I'm not a people person. Now, hold on. No one is saying you have to do a TED talk in front of thousands of people. Networking can actually be quite practical and easy. That being said, I want to help. So today, I'm going to go over a few things that will assist you in building your network. Let's get into it. Now, networking used to be a thing that you had to do in person, but now that the internet is wide open, so many people are meeting others online. So all the things that I go over today, I wanna to make sure I touch on how to do things in person and how to do things online. Okay, the first thing is be presentable. When you're in person, you don't wanna be the smelly guy. You wanna make sure your personal hygiene is on point. You wanna look good and smell good. I know for me, anytime I'm with people, I make sure that I keep gum on me so I don't have bad breath, and I make sure that my hands are always dry so when I shake somebody's hand, I don't have sweaty palms. Now, it's also important that you look people in the eye, you give people a firm handshake, and you come across as confident. That's very important when presenting yourself to people in person. Oh yeah, and be approachable. Be sure to wear a smile. People don't wanna look at you and feel like, ugh, I don't wanna to talk to that person. Make sure that you present yourself the best you possibly can so that people wanna come up to you and talk to you. Now, when presenting yourself online, you wanna make sure your socials are not set to private. One of the worst things is when people go to your social media page and can't actually access any information about you, see, if, see what you're up to, let your social media be a window to who you are as a person so people can get a chance to get a better feel of who you are. Make sure your socials are clean. By clean, I mean make, make sure they look good. Make sure your branding is on point and make sure your bio has information about you. Next is be yourself. Now let's tackle this in person. Uh, now the point here is to engage, connect, and introduce yourself, but don't try too hard. People can see straight through that and can tell if someone is being fake. Find unique ways to stand out to create conversation, like wear a dope producer t-shirt that will cause people to approach you, or pay attention to what people are doing and saying and find an in organically. Now, when dealing with this online, 
Use your strengths to your advantage, whether it's humor or knowledge on a specific topic and engage in the comments. That's a great way to build rapport with people and can lead to a very clean transition and introduction in the DMs without coming across as weird or awkward. Next, find your people. Whether online or in person, you want to connect with like-minded people you can be yourself with. Don't be pushy or be annoying and look desperate to make friends because that could be a total turnoff. But definitely be observant and look for those you can relate to because these will be the ones you potentially see success with in the future. Finding your tribe can be a little tricky at first, but once you do, building and creating will become that much easier. Next, be prepared. Now, the first thing you want to do, whether online or in person, is research others. You want to research the people you're going to be in the room with, and you want to research the people you're going to be online with. It's important that when you come to these people and you're trying to talk with them, trying to network with them, you at least know who it is you're talking about. You would hate to go to another producer and say, hey, bro, would you want to buy some beats? Why would they want to buy beats? They're already a producer. So it's important to know who it is that you're talking to. Now, when in person, you want to have your contact info ready, such as business cards or your contact card on your phone. The worst thing you want to do is be fumbling around trying to get people your information, especially when you're dealing with higher profile individuals. Those individuals usually are on the move and ready to move on to the next thing. So you have a small window of opportunity to get them your information. The last thing you want to do is be stalling, trying to get to your phone and figure out, oh, uh, 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 let me, let me, let me get your number or, uh, oh yeah, I got a business card here in my bag, but no, always be prepared and have that stuff ready to go. Now online, you want to have a centralized place with all your info, like a website, a linked tree, uh, a Twitter, an Instagram or LinkedIn. Now listen, it's cool if you have all these things, but it's best that you could provide one link that has all this information on it. So I do highly recommend a website or a link tree, somewhere they can go and see all about who you are. Hey, quick reminder, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get updated on cool new content like what you're watching right now. Also, join us on Discord. It's a perfect place for questions and conversation, not only with the Arabit team, but our entire community. All right, let's get back to it. Next is bring value. Okay. Let me tell you a little secret that always works, all right? What you wanna do is you wanna compliment those you network with and create conversation around them. Ask engaging questions and let them talk about themselves. Now, why would you wanna do this? Because this is very important. This is a chance for you to get to know who they are, what they like, and what they need. This is a chance for you to provide value to them. Listen. It's time to quit making it all about yourself and instead make it about others. How can you bring something to the table? For instance, here's a pretty good example. Let's say you meet a more established producer who is constantly getting placements. They find out that you're a composer and this is a perfect opportunity for you to say, hey, if you ever need help with melodies or any type of instrumentation added to your music, let me know I'm available. Producers are always looking to collaborate, so this would be a great end for you. Now, keep in mind, the worst thing you want to do is come about this fake. Don't do it just because you're trying to get an opportunity. Just try to be a better person. Try to assist because what you give, you will receive in other areas as well. Always remember this too. When people see that you genuinely care about what they have going on, they'll take you seriously and it'll let them know that you're really trying to create and make genuine, real relationships. Next is always ask before soliciting your content. Keep your requests short and don't spam. Now this applies to both in person and online. So when you're in person, for instance, the last thing you want to do is bombard people with CDs and jump drives and all kinds of content. Usually when you're in a networking space, people have gotten so much stuff from all the people that they met. It's just an easy way for you to get overlooked, especially if it's unwanted. Right. So in person, I would recommend that as you're having a conversation after you've introduced yourself and this will usually be at the tail end of the combo is say, hey, listen, it was nice meeting you. Do you mind if I send you some of my music so you can get to hear what I'm all about? That usually is a great way in and they'll say either yes or no. But if they do say yes, they'll usually direct you on where to send it. It'll be like, yeah, go ahead and send it to my DMs on Instagram or send it to my email. 
And if you don't have those, this is a great segue into asking, okay, cool, what is your Instagram? Or, oh, all right, thanks, what's your email? That way, when people see it, they know that it's coming from somewhere that they requested. Now, when online, the worst thing you want to do is be in the comments talking about, hey, check out my stuff, or bombarding people's DMs with links that they've never even asked for, because that's a sure way to get ignored, y'all. Okay, now I've given y'all a few simple things to consider when networking, but I also want to talk to you about where to network with people, right? So when you're in person, you want to go to places where there are other like-minded people such as yourself, right? So what you want to do is you want to go to concerts, you want to go to beat battles, you want to go to showcases, DJ events, uh, networking events, anywhere where you can have other creatives that you can exchange contact information with. Now, when you're online, you want to go to platforms specific to creatives, such as artist platforms, producer platforms, anywhere that allows you to connect with others, like following them, uh, participating in groups, and anywhere you can also comment and maybe even share your contact. Now, meeting people online has probably become the most primary way to network with others post-pandemic. So here are a couple of places you can go meet other producers and artists. Now, if you want to connect with other producers, Discord is a great place to start. Here's a list of servers you can join to meet other creative minds just like yours. You can check out Airbit, Producer Grind, Beat Club, Kenny Beats, Blap World, We Suck at Producing, Soul Tune, Brownies and Lemonade, Music Production, and so on. Also, here are some websites you can check out if you want to connect with other producers, such as BandLab, Beatport, Soundtrap, Audius, SoundCloud, and Reddit. Now, if you're wanting to connect with artists, you can also check out places like Discord, but then there are other sites you want to check out as well, like RapChat, Voizy, Volico, Bars, Off Top, TikTok, IG, Audio Mac, and SoundCloud. And that's it. These are some pretty simple steps to get started in networking. But I do want to remind you, I know a lot of times when we network and we want to meet people that can help us elevate in our career, we usually shoot for the big grand prize. We want to work with the Drakes and the Kanye's and the Jay-Z's and the Nicki Minaj's. But I want to tell you to slow down. Reason I say that is because I think it's important that we network across versus networking up. If we're constantly networking up, we'll probably see a lot more disappointment and it'll take a longer process for us to achieve some of the goals that we're trying to accomplish. But if you network across with your peers and work to build with those individuals, not only will you grow together, but a lot of those peoples will eventually become CEOs, managers, A&Rs, artists, producers at a whole other level, and you will work your way into the future seamlessly. I hope this helps. Be sure to like and comment below and subscribe to our Airbit channel for more content. Also, don't forget to follow us on Discord so you can connect with our community and discuss all things music. You can find the link and others in the description. Until next time, stay creative. Peace.